Good afternoon. New figures show that Birmingham has some of the highest levels of fuel poverty in the country. Research carried out by the Labour Party found that out of the 100 worst affected areas, nearly a third are here in the West Midlands, with seven of them in Birmingham. Well, BBC WM's political reporter Susanna Mendonca joins me now. So, Susanna, why is the situation so bad in this region? Well, it's a question that no one can definitively answer. Now, Labour, who've compiled these figures, they've taken it from the Department of Energy and Climate Changes reports. Um, and they have said that it's partly to do with rising energy prices, of course, that's their big campaign, but also to do with issues around long-term unemployment in the West Midlands and low pay, which has been a historic problem here. Now, the charities that I've been speaking to have said that these figures actually only are the tip of the iceberg because they think that it could be far worse. At the moment, um, my own feeling is that we're scratching the surface of the problem and that a lot more needs to be done because just from our own experience we see a lot more people falling into fuel poverty. Well, Labour have had a lot to say on energy recently, so what are the government saying about this? Well, the government say that in terms of fuel poverty, there's no excuse for it, and they are doing a lot to help vulnerable people. Now, in terms of pensioners, they can get things like the, uh, uh, the winter fuel payments and also warm home discounts. People who are very vulnerable can also get help. And also, uh, there's, there's help out there for people who perhaps want to insulate their homes. Um, now, Labour, uh, who've come up with this, with this research, are talking about fu uh, freezing fuel prices but the government says that, that just isn't going to work. Here's Chris Pincher. What will happen if you threaten to freeze energy bills is that the energy companies will put their prices up, which means that bills will be artificially high for people during the freeze. It will also entrench the position of the big six because every small supplier says that they won't be able to manage their fixed costs as the big six can. Well, the news today that we're expecting energy prices to rise for the next 17 years, that no doubt will mean that this will be a story that will run and run. And we know that both Labour and Conservative MPs in the region are debating it. OK, thanks, Susanna. The number of people 